Alright, so it's a brand new day and there's some brand new post for me. Uh, this came through just this morning and I didn't actually... This is a convoluted one because uh, Nick sent me postage money for me to post an item to some Canadian. Um, but then the Canadian was like, actually I don't want to go through this third party. Uh, so I was like, okay Nick, do you want me to send you the money back? And he goes, no, no, I'll find something to buy with it. And an S10 popped up roughly half an hour after he said that for £30, buy it now. And I thought... So that'll do. Size 2, check the images, no damages. I was so busy looking for damages, I didn't notice what was special about it. And I, you can actually see I haven't properly cleaned this. Uh, there's a bit of smudging there on the lens. And the lenses are the most important part of this, if they look a bit boggle-eyed to you. That's because these are the corrective lens types. They've got a little bit of water stuck in them still from when I did try washing them, but that's not a problem. So of course it is going to be going to Nick, uh, and I've got £20 left over that I don't know what he's going to do with. And the charger isn't in properly. Now it is. Right. The other thing that's interesting with this, it's a 1989 size 2. Don't know if you can see that. Don't know if it matters. It's also a training filter. The bag it came with as well is also, as you can see here, Haversacks, I can't, uh, re Haversacks respirator, anti-gas S6 Mark 2, or Mark 11, but it's obviously Mark 2. 845-8465-99132-2299 MEL-1976 and this is one of the earlier uh, 72 pattern have a sacks with a bit of filth down at the bottom there don't know if you can see that don't know if you want to either uh, holding this is disgusting because it's so powdery this was completely full of powder it was white when I got it but yeah this is a uh, essentially a first gen uh, S6 72 pattern haversack because it had the 58 pattern for a while but the 58 pattern was found to be very difficult to decontaminate so they made this uh, sort of rubber coated style uh, sort of nylon-ish bag and the first ones had this orange rim around it which Brock for days has described as disgusting and I agree with them uh, side pockets had a few little goodies in it as well but also to note Focus will work today. Temperamental as ever. Davy. I hope that's not private info. I hope you can't like, harass some soldier who had this. Of that. Um, filter, of course, we thread this off. It's PS10 or L12A1 with a cap. The problem with the uh, L12A1s is that they have this permanently exposed vent system, which Nick actually pointed out has the um, radiation symbol on them, which I've never spotted before, because I remember uh, I brought up that the... Shut up! Uh, I brought up that the uh, uh, CFF3 filters had the uh, particular warning symbol on. And, uh, of course, as would be fitting with masks like this, you've got your uh, lens wipes. And also a bag full of spare clips for some reason. Or rather the... Uh, space around the clips, as you can see there, which is pretty cool. So if I pull this off, you can see just how uncleaned it was inside. Um, not really, but it, it was disgusting. It was completely white. The whole thing was solid white. In fact, if I flip this around, though, once again, pulling the head harnesses over the front, being my specialty. Can do it without any damage. I'm lying. I actually completely ripped the straps off of a S6 once, but we don't talk about that. So there we go. If I pull that through, we've got our corrective lens types. In fact, actually, if I can just see there, the strength isn't actually too bad. Although my glasses, uh, my camera lens is probably conforming to it quite a bit. It's almost a fisheye effect, really, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, as you can see, they are stuck on by these little parts here. Uh, which one of these lenses was the dustiest one? I'll do that because then I can also wash it. If I pull it through. See this thinner part here goes through this part here, and this one through the middle. Now all S6s have this. But one thing they don't all have, now I can finally get that disgusting smudge mark on the lens. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
a vast improvement. Is that they don't all have this type of lens. I think it's just easier to make a, a lens uh, rim that they all have it, rather than exclusively making ones that do and don't. As you can see there, it's more of a forward front, uh, front forward style, which uh, makes peripheral vision without the corrective lens, corrective insert, rather impossible. Or everything around your edges will be completely blurry if you try to use it without. It rather distorts vision. I'm not sure if that's something I can demonstrate. Actually, I kind of can. So yes, you'll really want to use Corrective insert. Speaking of the corrective insert, it's actually made of rubber, and the lens just pops out of it, uh, like so. And of course, pop it back in. And hey presto. So let's get that back on inside while I cover the mask in the wood shavings from the 70s Schreiber table that we've left to the element. Small part in through that part, but I usually go for the bigger piece first, which is not an easy task in general just to get through. It's a bit tough. This is riveting footage. Let me all go through. I'll get back to you. And there we go. That took a lot longer than it actually should have. And straps back through. Of course, with this being from 1989, being the old 80s version, the straps just pop straight out of the back here, rather than through a little threading hole that it would have. So yes, corrective lens types, of course, obviously I can't uh, see very well through them, it's highly blinding, but it's also not pleasant either, so thankfully for me this thing is going to Nick. I've brought it up to uh, another friend, an electrician, because uh, I think I've put that on wrong. Anyway, I brought it up to a friend who's an electrician because he actually uses glasses, so if they happen to be his strength, then he might want them, but I don't know how I'd test that. But anyway, corrective lens type S10, I thought it was pretty cool.